fantastic. I think the kids have got quite a lot from it today and seem to be really inspired from what they've heard. So yeah, having a great time. The kids' participation has been amazing. I think the speakers have been really approachable. The fact that they've, they've loved having the kids around and they've not shied away from that. For some of these kids to meet this sort of calibre of people is exceptional. It's, it's quite rare really to have that engagement with, with that kind of um, communication. I think the whole layout has been fantastic. The food's been brilliant. Um, nothing more to say really, just a fantastic event and we're very, very privileged to be here. Well the aim of I Can, the event uh, for teenagers, is, is to empower young people to understand that they can achieve more than they think possible. To, to think about you know being entrepreneurial, uh, setting up their own business, pushing themselves a bit harder at school, thinking outside the box, being the courageous one at school, entering the school play, the public speaking competition. He then proceeded to pick me up and throw me in the deep end of the pool without my floaties on. What is your passion? Because I, what I was doing when I was seven, I'm making money from now. So my passion is that our creativity is linked to the things that we're passionate about, the things that we're engaged about when we were children. I was kind of waiting for somebody else to do that for us. I was waiting for somebody else to take the responsibility and do it for us, but of course, it was my responsibility. I went to my local council, I said, why has it stopped? I said, Adam, no one wants it anymore. I said, well, you know what? I'm going to have a go at it and I'm going to make it work. Well, I thought it was very inspirational. Have you got a dream or anything that you want to share with us? I want to be a science teacher. To be fair, it's been like really inspiring you know, like to hear other people's life and how it's gone. So like, to me, it just it comes to me because it can give me something to look forward to. You know, like, whenever, like I don't believe in myself, I can say, right, I remember this day. And I can be like, yeah, he did that, so therefore I can. He said you're going to share, and you said you're going to lose some weight. That was very brave. Because I get bullied at school being fat and stuff, so, and I think it's just time that I can talk what they said and just like move that extra step forward. I think, you know, today's been just an amazing day. I've, I feel so privileged to have been involved with all these amazing speakers and, you know, if I, I always say to people that if I can leave a talk with at least one child saying, right, I can go out and do what do what I want to do, believe in myself and everything, then I've done my job. She was really good. I'm just surprised how she managed to do it. And are you going to do anything differently from today, from what you've seen? Yeah, I'm going to try my best to succeed in school and my education. So I've, I've learned quite a lot and it doesn't matter whether you're disabled or not, you can still do what you believe in. Tell me what you thought of Richard McCann. I thought it was really interesting to find out about his life because I already knew about him and I thought it was really interesting to find out what he did after he was little and after his mum died. I thought he was fantastic. Um, he was really motivational. Um, I think the kids would have got so much out of it, the way that he was able to talk about his own life and how he's overcome all those um, problems and hardships um, he had. And the way that he used humour was absolutely fantastic as well. And they taught me a lot of things that no matter what, you can achieve something if you put your mind to it and no matter what anyone thinks, as long as you think that you can achieve it, you can. What I can is it's about bringing speakers together, international speakers, which usually speak to adults at conferences and giving young people that head start so that they don't have to wait until they're 45 to realise that they can achieve great things in their life.